So we're back out at Kior. Why don't we get another video while we're out here? Decided we'd come out here in the daylight and see what's going on. We'll come back around over here in a minute. See, they got all that rebar balled up over there and they're putting it in the scrap iron bins. They, uh, they don't like a whole lot out here now. We're going around over this way. <laughs> Looks like tumbleweed out through there. <laughs> They've got that scrap bin right there slap full. They still got the three 345s out here. There's one, and there's two, and the third one's sitting right there. Look at that. They still got two big mountains of rebar and concrete to go through. They did have a bunch of mountains, but they've done good, man. They've knocked it out. Well, you can tell he sat right there in one spot for a while working on that stuff. You can... Hang on, I'll stop the camera and I'll tell you what I was going to take. I'm filming right now, though. So the last Kior video I had, this is the building I was up under. It's now down. Look, it's got a concrete. Let me watch where I'm stepping here. That thing's got a concrete roof on it. Holy smokes. I ain't no telling what that thing weighed right there. But that two layers thick of that insulation. Dang, I didn't know that thing was that elaborate. Look how thick that concrete is right there. I don't know if this was the, uh, I'm not sure what this was here when this thing was originally built. Maybe somebody that was familiar with this that was involved in building this. If this was a control room down here or what, but I mean, they had it built. I mean, holy cow. Dang, that was some weight up overhead right there. Goodness gracious. And then it's got a rubber roof on top of it right here. I figure uh, last time I was out here was two weeks ago when I filmed the grinder video out here cutting this rebar up inside this building right here and they've done a lot they've cleaned up all these piles except for those two big piles right there but they've done all this in two weeks so i figure another uh by two more weeks they ought to be completely done here should be anyhow See, that was the supports for it. It was, this roof was sitting over there. So as they 
knocked it down and knocked it back south here, which is behind me. But see, they had to... That's three layers of that. Let's see, there's one layer, and there's two, and there's... No, that's two. This is folded over. This this actually folded over, and this piece right here attaches right there, okay. Good grief. I bet when that thing come down, I bet it hit hard. I would have liked to have been out here and film that when that thing came down. That would have been cool. His anchor bolts. Hmm. Ain't much left out here. Y'all, it's coming coming to a close they still got six excavators out here right now Big pile of concrete. That pile of concrete just keeps on growing. Look how wide it is. I got several things I need to bring y'all up to date on right quick on this uh, Saturday morning uh, right off the bat uh, lots of lots of cool things going on right now I promise y'all this week the new stuff is going on the website I've been saying that uh, for several weeks now and <laughs> as this stuff starts rolling along here over the next few weeks you're gonna see why I've been so busy and, and things like that uh, I spent three days this week with Rotebeck. They were on our job here, and uh, y'all are going to see a little bit of that uh, coming up, and uh, there's going to be some really, really cool stuff going on with Rotebeck that they're, that they're wanting to do, and uh, you're going to kind of get a glimpse of that, but so that's that right there. Got that out of the way. The stuff's going to be going up on the website this next week. I'll let you know when it's up there, the new stuff, and... Uh, I'm fixing to try to get me some um, some beanies done too, and uh, I just got to sit down and work on that. All right, so you know the Milwaukee thing. You know Milwaukee sent me this large angle grinder right here a few weeks ago, and I did a video with it. Did a couple videos with it. Y'all still gonna see it. It takes the HD 12 battery, which is a freaking monster right here on this thing. It has no trouble doing that. So Milwaukee, after I did the first video. I told them, I promised them, I said, I promise y'all I'll do y'all a good job on it. And I did the first video, uh, we communicated, uh, and then I did a second video, Robert running the, running the grinder right there, and, and I communicated with them again. And uh, they said, hey, look, they said, we didn't, we've looked at your stuff really good, and looked at your website, cottontop3.com, and they said, we didn't realize you were a logger. And, uh, they said, we we like how you doing this. Because what happens a lot of times on these tools and stuff, people get them and they, they just unbox them. They don't really like put them, you know, like really hammer them and stuff like that. They said, we, we're going to send you the chainsaw, the Milwaukee chainsaw. So when I got in yesterday, which was Friday afternoon, I had this bad boy right here sitting at the house. 
and it takes it comes with the hd12 battery also this thing's got a got a uh, organ chain on it and uh it don't have that anti-kickback stuff on it either it don't have that but i messed with it a little bit last night the battery goes in right here and uh just messing with it some this thing is pretty slick i told him i said uh I said, I won't have no trouble doing a video with this right here. They said they understood, you know, that I probably couldn't use this in my real life job. But they said they wanted to send me one of these to see what I could do with it. And uh, so I'm pretty excited. I'm going to do some filming with this dude uh, today. This thing is supposed to cut 150 six by six cuts on one battery right here that's a lot uh it is it's variable speed you can you can barely ease it or run it say it's got so when you let off of it tank keeps going for a little bit uh 6600 rpms so y'all be looking for this thing in some upcoming videos because this thing right here is perfect for the for the homeowner that that uh you know don't need that need something more than some pruning shears or some lopers and don't need to spend something a bunch of money for uh you know a gasoline powered saw you know like a husk or steel or something like that you know that they're gonna have to worry about gasoline carburetor gumming up and it costing them a lot of money so uh that's pretty cool that thing's oiling too it done slung chain oil here all over so we got that with milwaukee uh uh, that's gonna be uh, pretty cool dealing with them. All right. Also, too, this right here, the the minimal the minimalist uh, ridge wallet right here. I have been wanting one of these things for a good little while, and uh, it comes in a uh, like an Apple products type packaging. Really cool the way it comes up. It's actually cellophane, just like an Apple product is. But there's the wallet right there, and I'm gonna show y'all more about this later. It comes with a uh, it comes with a Torx tool right here, a cool, uh, very nice Torx tool, which I didn't need that because I've got this stuff like this right here, to where you can take it take it apart. This one right here is the burnt titanium. I wanted the titanium, so that's what I got. I got the burnt titanium on the outside, but it's made for uh, for credit cards. You can put credit cards, driver's license. You can put uh, twelve of them inside of it. What it does is it expands. It's got these elastic parts that you can replace on the on the sides right there and this is not one of my credit cards right there but uh see that's the name of it right there but anyhow you just slide them in and then it's also got a money clip uh hang on just a second i'll show you what right. i come back this is what i've been carrying since the early 90s this is a uh, leather wallet right here bifold wallet and uh i can't I can't carry a wallet in my pocket because it kills my back if I put it. So I never carry a wallet with me. I never have it. The, it's, it stays in my truck is what it does. Unless I'm out and about or something like that. So I kind of do things a little bit different. And But this is going to take the place of this right here. And then I'm going to show you all how this works later. I'm just kind of giving some uh, some update stuff on, uh, on all this. So... I had I had been looking at these for a good little while and uh, got my hands on this one right here and so I'm excited to fill it up with my cards and my driver's license and my concealed carry permit will go in here too and because uh, like I said I don't carry this with me I kind of when I'm out and about I kind of do things a little bit different I'm always worried about somebody you know pickpocketing especially when i'm in these larger towns and stuff like that so i kind of do, i don't want to say how i do it because then everybody will know how i do it and, uh, and all that but uh so this right here is going to be pretty slick with that uh money clip right there and and all that because i just i just do my cash like that so and i've had conventional money clips before and I didn't really care for them too much, but this is gonna be better for this right here. So that's that. 
Hope y'all all have a good weekend this weekend. I'm not sure how long the video was like seven or eight minutes, something like that. Uh, the Cure stuff on the front of this video was filmed uh, today, makes three weeks ago. I think they're completely done out there. I have not had time to uh, to get out there and, and check that out um, since three weeks ago, but I think Brent and them are completely done out there. I'm not sure about the rock crushing, if they've done anything like that. Okay, on TDK side, an update on TDK logging side. Uh, we finished the job that we were on yesterday. Uh, we blew through it, uh, hammered it pretty hard, got done. Uh, we moved. We got everything moved except for one machine, and, the other, and that one machine ought to be moved by now, right now, as this video is uh, being made. Uh, we're going into another uh, swamp, and we've got to cross a... A very large creek right off the bat and the guy who's got it actually had two flatbed trailers uh, welded together side by side I think they're 53 footers and then he had to put another 10 or 15 foot extension on them to span this creek that we're going across well they laid them in there side by side welding them together and everything and uh, built us a road in there. And when Derek went to track the new LX830D across the bridge yesterday, he just barely got on the bridge and went about 10 foot out on it. And when he did, one of those uh, flatbeds buckled on him. And uh, it buckled and it, and it dropped. And he felt it, and that's the only thing that saved him because if it would have, if he wouldn't have felt it and he would have kept on going, he probably would have flipped over and he would have flipped over on his cab side in that creek and that would not have been good. And so he got back off the bridge real quick. And uh, so they're over there working right now. They were gonna order a bunch of metal. They're gonna try to flip that whole thing over and put some more I-beams up under to hold it. Cause man, it, it takes a lot to hold this stuff up that we run. That machine there, they told us it comes in about 82,000 pounds is what that machine weighs. And then we've probably got about 400 loads to bring out of there, loaded trucks. So they're over there working on that right now, trying to get, because we've got to have that bridge to get onto the track right now. And so y'all are going to start seeing some of that. I still got some videos left from um, the job that we just finished that y'all will be seeing. And then it'll pick up on... Uh, on this new job and I'll show y'all the bridge and, and all that stuff like that. Oh, two, uh, I rode and did some filming yesterday in one of those gigantic John Deere cotton pickers that actually rolls the cotton, did some riding in it and I'm probably gonna go back with those guys today and uh, hang out with them again later on after lunch probably and do some more riding with them and filming with them. Just a beast of a machine. So. Hope y'all enjoy this Saturday. Uh, please check out my website, cottontop3.com. I'm gonna do a rundown of all the merchandise here coming up as soon as uh, um, I get them to get the stuff on my web, the new stuff on my website, because we're, we're coming into the Christmas season and all that stuff like that. Y'all have a good Saturday. Tomorrow's video is gonna be really good. Got some bad to the bone stuff coming up next weekend. I should be traveling next weekend uh, to do some filming if everything works out and goes through for me. Uh, this going and I'll kind of touch on that so a lot of stuff going on with me uh, for me to be a one-man show and to do what I'm doing and to pull it off is crazy 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 so we'll catch y'all later later tires